హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ రమ్య అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ సిఎస్సి డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ రోహిణి కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ సబ్జెక్ట్ కోడ్ ఓఈసి సెవెన్ ఫైవ్ ఫోర్ యూనిట్ ఫైవ్ టాపిక్ ల్యాబ్ ఆన్ ఎ చిప్ అబ్జెక్టివ్ టు లర్న్ అబౌట్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ల్యాబ్ ఆన్ ఎ చిప్ ల్యాబ్ ఆన్ ఎ చిప్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇంప్లాయిస్ దోస్ టెక్నిక్స్ దట్ పర్ఫామ్ వేరియస్ లెబోరేటరీ ఆపరేషన్స్ ఆన్ ఎ మినియాచరైజ్డ్ స్కేల్ సచ్ అస్ కెమికల్ సిందాసెస్ అండ్ అనాలిసిస్ ఆన్ ఎ సింగిల్ చిప్ లీడింగ్ టు ఎ హ్యాండిల్ అండ్ పోర్టబుల్ డివైస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో యూస్డ్ అస్ ఎ డివైస్ విచ్ ఈస్ కేపబుల్ ఆఫ్ స్కేలింగ్ ద సింగిల్ ఆర్ మల్టిపుల్ లెబోరేటరీ ఫంక్షన్స్ డౌన్ టు చిప్ ఫార్మాట్ హియర్ ద సైజ్ ఆఫ్ ద చిప్ రేంజెస్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫ్రమ్ మిల్లీమీటర్స్ టు ఎ ఫ్యూ స్క్వేర్ సెంటీమీటర్స్ దెన్ here loc is basically the integration of fluidics electronics optics and biosensors here the main motive of lab on chip is the need for the state of art pathological analysis that means the devices that is used to integrate multiple laboratory functions on a single chip size of only few millimeters to a few square centimeters and the next one is schematic representation of lab on a chip here that it is a process intimates by collecting the physiological sample and then from this sample the extraction of particular analyte ir biomarker is done that means it is depending upon the biomedical application here the transducer will act on the analyte electrically electromechanically optically or mechanically here some of the steps involves that is counting sorting and amplification of the transducer then the output is performed according to the application finally the amplified sample is processed using microelectronics techniques here some current trends shows the growth of research in this area that means in many universities across the world it shows the many groups are formed that are dedicating their research in this area for example bios in university mina med in germany etc their main motive is to understand nano fluidics and nano sensing it is used to connect micro or nano engineering with biomedical and life science fields the ultimate aim of lab on a chip technology it is used to integrate one or more laboratory process or techniques onto a single miniaturized chip then some advantages low fluid volume consumption faster analysis and response time due to short division distances fast heating high surface to volume ratios small heat capacities better process control because of a faster response of the system some disadvantages the micro manufacturing process required to make them is complex and labor intensive requiring both expensive equipment and specialized personnel the complex fluidic acquisition network require multiple pumps and connectors where fine control is difficult then next one we are going to see the microfluidics and nanofluidics it is defined as the manipulation of the flow of very small quantities of fluids within channels in the micrometer range here the nanofluid takes this a stage further and often deals with the movement of individual macromolecules in solution here the understanding and commercialization of the area of physics has been crucial to development of variable lab on a chip disease the discipline of microfluidics developed a consequence of increasingly accurate analysis techniques such as high performance liquid chromatology and capillary electrophoresis that means it is also able to obtain extremely accurate results from a small sample size the next one is role of nanotechnology certain developments in the field of nanotechnology have been crucial to enabling lab on a chip technologies that means in particularly lithography which has been used to create nanoscale futures on metal and semiconductor services it has been adapted to create tiny microscale pumps walls and other components for manipulating flow from poly 
PDMS. PDMS, it is a transparent flexible elastomer which is better suited to rapid prototyping and it is used for allowing optical testers in microfluidic systems than traditional lithography materials. The next one, some of the applications, microfluidic dispenser, concentration gradient generator, PCR chip for DNA amplification, quantitative DNA sensor chip and we have some of the benefits also that means biotechnology, pharmacy, chemistry, research, etc. Thank you.